of this. However, the one thing I will show before we do any stand-up is the how to enter it. If you are going to pull a guard and you don't want to just pull a flying a crotch guard, a body lock a guard, but instead you want to pull a daily heave a guard. The key is, again, I want independent feet, chubby checker, right? I want my feet independent from what's happening here, like I'm a mine. My head, just like in boxing, I want it elusively independent of what my hands are doing. And I'm feeling these reactions. When I step here, I'm going to jump my butt forward so I can get my hook right away. I'm wrapping my leg around the leg. I'm pulling my inner, walk this way a little bit. I'm pulling in my inner toe, and I'm feeling my, my toe like the claw of a velociraptor walking onto her inner thigh. Connection to the hip, the base. Connection to the hands, and awareness and control of the range of her head. Hey. If I control of hands, head, and hips. So if I'm here holding in a sport a grip here, I've got my leg wrapped around a lot. I'm feeling the hip. Move around your head. I'm controlling where that head can move and where her hands can re-grip, strike, or counter me. And I'm controlling the range of those grips and I'm locking in. She will probably end up in a base, but if not, I want Remember, to stop this unit that. Has so as one she job, wants to, to start the reaction. that uh, drop into combat base, I'm actually holding her in a standing spot. I want to make her have to really have to drop back into combat base. Then it enables me to have a control of the rising game, and I get one of the things I still do as a little now and get that sweep which has been one of my favorite sweeps, and I nail her in it all the time. <laughs> I nailed her in it. <laughs> like twice a year. <laughs> so I'm here. Again, if I'm not look, connected, I'm not, if, if it's only her hips I control, she easily just drops back to the Back up. So I'm controlling her head and her hands as well, so when she makes her drop back. I'm almost stopping it, drop back. I'm forcing her to really have to drop back. Then I push forward and rise. She holds her base the best she can. I step out and I do this simple sweep motion and I'm up. And again, I nail her in it all the time. <laughs> Step one, um, as we move every once in a while, clock. Foot here on the hip. I want to feel nice, independent, low range. Think I'm wrapping around and I'm pulling in my claw, my talon, right into the inner thigh. I'm not gripping all squeezed tight, but I'm controlling her motion, controlling her head, feeling that. Then, like magic, uh. like a mime, independent movement. I'm locking her onto my knee over here. When she, and then the fundamental sweep, if she stands, is I'm gonna lift and throw her, which I have a hard time because I got a bad knee right now. I should probably have Melissa instruct it because she walks it through. Let's do this part. I'll do the next part. So, because I want to bring my knees into. I connect her onto my knees, then I bring my knees, which carries her with it, to my chest. Then, like a leg press, I want to lift my legs up and over this I'm way, not doing that one. which I cannot I'm not doing do. That. Yeah, I know. Okay. Right now, because of my knee, but I still lock her on, and I have to have at least that threat. So then, as she drops into a base, I'm, I'm holding, I'm preventing it, and then I'm pushing it. And then I'm sweeping through. And then, of course, I demolish her. Sweeping through. 
<laughs> what does that even mean? I just don't feel like you're explaining it. I'm not explaining it. I just feel like you're saying, you know, you just sweep it. You just sweep through, see? I'm, I'm just saying, like, do you have words that go with the explanation that describe exactly what you're doing, aside from, like, sweep? No, I don't have any good words at this moment. <laughs> like Words aren't coming in right now. <laughs> okay, words aren't coming in right now? They're not, like, I'm, I'm not feeling it. You're not feeling the words? Yes. You can't, if, if you, if there wasn't a camera and people couldn't watch you do that sweep, could you explain it with, let's pretend like the person was completely blind. And how would you explain that to a blind person? What you just did? I would say. You can't just say sweep it through. I'd, I'd be this. Well, close your eyes. <laughs> feel the daily eva. Okay, I feel the daily eva. Okay, I drop into okay. a base. Eyes closed still. Yeah. Controlling my hands and my head, and that's what's preventing me from being able to just drop easily. Right. Because you're kind of pulling me in yes. with tension from your arms. Yes. Okay, so you're using your arm tension to pull me in. A little bit of arm, but I mostly want to feel like I'm just connecting you onto my knee here. Okay. So like that, a knee shield. So that makes it harder for me to drop my butt. Yes. But I'm going to insist on it, and you're going right. to kind of let me, but not easily let me. Right. Then, then I'm going to you release. push me away. You push me away with your arm, and then you roll onto to your drop. side. You roll onto your side. Yes. Here, let, let me try to do what it. You and do you it. explain to me what I'm not doing right, because I don't even do this. I don't know this move. Okay. So. Did you want my eyes closed? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Daily Eva, I'm grabbing your... You got a sleeve grip? The sleeve. Okay, I'm grabbing here. Okay, and then you're going to try to sit yes. down. Wait, hold on. Where's my knee? So I'm doing a knee show. Here, and I'm trying knee to sit to back. Sit back. And you're preventing How easy is it for you to sit back right now? Not too easy. Really? Okay. I mean, I, I have to I draw. I don't really do this. Okay. What I'll do it, 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 it is I bring my leg back, and then I push right forward and draw back. Okay, so then once you're here, your base is kind of wide. Yes. So I release the tension and then I lean with my hips and I use that hook to take you over. So you open that leg up almost like a sweeper leg. Almost open like it up like a sweeper leg. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically, basically executing a simple oh, sweep. Like it's sweeping on the mat. Simple sweep on a combat base. Okay, okay, so I, so I, I, sit, there, back, I sit back, now you rise I up, attention. and then... Do I keep this on your chest? Yeah, and then rise, yes. Rise. Now, hold on, now scoot your hip that way slightly. Sweep no my hand on the mat. Sweep my hip. Yep, hold the sleeve still. Toward my collar. Yeah, remember, hold that the grip was on the sleeve. Okay. So, you, you've, we're here. Okay. Lock me on. Yep, you got that lock. You want to throw me over the top? Yes. I got to stop that. So put me back down. <laughs> as I, as you attempt it, I drop base. Then you resist for a second, then you rise. Then you scoot your hip out into the side and execute a simple sweep. That leg's not going flat. It was easier when I just sat up and did it. I'm back up. Watch. I'll do one more. This is why I always nail you in this. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm going to throw you. Oh, you drop back. I'm waiting until you have to do a combat base. I feel like you're clamping the back of your knee around my ankle. Huh. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Yeah. Well, because you've got to be able to explain it, right? Yeah. Let me try again. And it's not, it, sometimes it <laughs> you looks... You've got to explain it. You can't just be like, you just sweep them. <laughs> 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 you just sweep them. I mean, that works for visual learners. For uh. the rest of us, not so much. I gotta hold a hand. Okay. Then I gotta try to threaten you, but you don't. 
So then I'm going to drop this all the way down your ankle. That way works. Was that better? Well. Yeah. But that's what you did. He had the back of his knee on my foot and ankle, and he used that by dropping that down to the mat and sweeping. That's what I felt like took me over. I felt like if I tried to hold my base, I would mess my ankle up. You might, yes. And a lot of it, I always think of scooch back a little bit. I think of a lot of it, all, again, almost as a throw. Whereas I'm in here, as her base drops, I'm adjusting in and then I'm scooting out yeah. and sweeping that ankle out. He's sweeping the ankle with the back of his knee. So one more time. And fucking daily heave. I'm attempting that throw. The base drops. I rise up. So what really happens when we roll, go back down. When we you roll and I nail her no, in no, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I drop back. And now I just take my leg out. And then I <laughs> because I'm more interested in hands, head, and hips. But isn't it really easy to step this out? It if, is. If I don't use this. If, but if you have that a grip, I want you to close your eyes here. I want you to feel through the grip and feel through your foot and your raptor talon when my leg wants to maneuver. So yes, I can move around that foot. And you can go from grip over to grip. Mm -hmm. Where you reach back and you grab the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the ankle, which of course opens my hand up for the various versions of the countering. Mm -hmm. What about your opinion on ankle versus cloth? I Have like opinion? the cloth, but I prefer the ankle. I prefer the heel like I'm grabbing the corner. Because some people, some instructors that I've been around say, you always grab the cloth or whatever. But then if you're doing, this is a good nogi thing too. Yes. If you want to practice hanging on to that. I foot. prefer the heel. Yeah. Like what? this? Like a doorknob. Well, not where I can step on your hand, but yeah. <laughs> if I'm going to grab that. But now that hand's free. If you can, reach and we'll grab across a sleeve grip. This is a good grip. Uh, but now this side hip is more free, right? Yeah. And so all, all of them, like everything, just like in politics, every ideology has a strength and a weakness. Every position has a strength and a weakness. Ooh. Now for me, I really love the Alhiva Garden. I love Andy, quiet on the set, please. Andy, quiet on the set. I really love the Alhiva Garden. I love just the basic fundamentals that... Chris showed me. I think that just like he started with the stand up, it's important to kind of feel like you can hold your De La Hiva guard, right? He talked about the talons, but I like to do some transitional drills where you can practice because you can grab the sleeve. You can grab the close collar, the far collar. You can even grab the belt or the fat roll if they don't have a belt. I um, don't have a fat roll. <laughs> or the other side sleeve. So there's different grips you can grab, right? There's different places you can put. My role grip. is actually CGI a post a, a production. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to put sideways pressure on the knee because I like yoga and I like my knees. Um, so, you know, there's different placement for that. I like to practice kind of controlling here and transitioning to the other side. That's one of the drills that I have my students do. Grabbing, controlling, just looking at the different collars, looking at the different grips, grabbing some chunk. Reach up, know, grab some feeling, ass. Feeling where you can put your foot here. And then moving to the other side, feeling, 
controlling. And then see when he steps in and his, his base and weight are over me, that puts me in the perfect position to do the lift. So then that's the next drill that'll have my baby control and feel that lift. When he's bent over, his weight's over me, my butt is under, my hips are under his hips. I bring him into me and I extend, control, and put him back down. And I can rock up, extend, rock up. Okay, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm doing this, this repetitive drill because I really like repetitive drills. That's where my partner and I differ um, exponentially is I like to build that muscle memory and that repetitive drill of practicing to lift them up. Okay, so, um, and then the way that Chris taught me this one was that we want to start by trying to kick his base out wide. That might cause him to come back in or not. That might cause him to come back into me. Whoops, setting up my overhead sweep. Like he said, it's like a leg press extending from the hip. Leg press over. Yeah, leg press up and overhead, or it could be over to the side. It kind of depends on where they go. But we can set this up by putting our foot on the thigh and kicking it back. Now, if he leans backward, I'm gonna stomp my right foot on the mat my hips and that's the sweep that he does regularly on you. from the combat base though always on. I just realized that that's pretty much the same sweep as that mm -hmm. okay those two sweeps are the same sweep number one here when I push his make his base go out I push his base out I'm dropping this knee down the knee is behind is on, connected to the ankle this foot and this one just stomps and then my hips lead and take them over. And again, this is absolutely about timing. Done. Absolutely about timing and feeling when his base is in the right spot to do this particular De La Hiva, um, sweep. So I want to switch directions and switch directions. Okay, so I have my De La Hiva hook in. I'm grabbing one of the collars or whatever. I'm going to kick his base out and sit up. I'm gonna stomp my foot on the mat. Then I'm gonna drive in that direction back there. So it's like 11 o'clock, my hips come up, leading with my hips, and I'm ready to do my knee slice pass. Okay, you good with that one? Or should I do it one more time? Do it one more time. What's wrong? Yeah, let's see. Who? Yeah. Can you tell them, where, can you tell them to go around the side to the mat? Tell them what film like. <laughs> we got the busiest COVID-19 house on the block. All right, ready? Yeah. So I'm gonna kick his leg out. Not really kick, but my foot, the palm of my foot is connected to his thigh, and I'm pressing it out even though I have short legs. I'm actually making him have to extend his base right here. Then I'm gonna stomp that foot on the mat, come up, leading with my hips, ready to pass. I'm gonna do it one time in, or a couple times in drill time. Instructed the overhead sweep 
So we're going to attempt sweep number one, which is we widen his base, we stomp, we rise up, but he bases back into me. So as he bases into me, look, he's all off base right there. As he bases into me, that's a perfect time to lift him up over my head and keep him, right? Because you want that push-pull feel. You want that, I, I prefer the lifting sweep. I don't prefer the stomp up sweep. I feel like if my legs were longer and I could split their base more, it would be good. Because it can be problematic. Because as you split that base, it does allow me. Right, I don't like that. Clear that leg. So I kind of fake that, like Chris fakes judo. I fake that, he bases into me, and then I have a strong leg here that I can lift pulls all day long, right? And flip them. And you can practice that one with your kids or your dogs, um, or maybe even your cats. Of course, I will practice all my counter On his dog. You watch your base. <laughs> okay, do you need to show that one one more time? Uh, I think we beat that to death. The combo? Back step to the lift? Okay, no words combo. Put a belt on. In this direction. Well, you can talk to Jeff real quick because we'll pause. We can pause. Jefe, how are you? Good, how are you? Because of my... is everything. Ugh. Youth is everything. <sighs> and please become a Patreon. These things take a long time to make.